What's going on guys? Cali Bassin out with another video today. Back out on good old Clear Lake. It's been a little while, but back out here for the one bass tournament, doing some pre-fishing. I'm not fishing as a pro, but I am fishing as a amateur, but still wanted to kind of get a feel for the lake. Just had a cold front blow through this weekend, and this is the day after that, so not really expecting uh, to whack on them with what this uh, weather's been doing and the mood the fish are probably in, but hoping to at least catch some fish and uh, get an idea of what uh, might be doing for the tournament. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, let's go fishing. Ten feet. I hit a piece of brush. It ticked. I popped it off, and then pretty much right after that, he hit it. Get up here, dude. That's a fat boy. There we go. Oh, there we go. Got him on the old drop shot. Margarita mutilator. I already got rid of my tail, but that's a nice one. Nice little four pounder. Thanks, buddy. All right. Here we go. Four pounder. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah, you guys could have seen it, but right in front of me, I saw what should have been a bass. It was chasing like a a shad or a hitch or something but it was right on the surface cast it to it but he didn't eat but that was, uh, that was some good sign to see at least hopefully uh today is going to be a little better than yesterday only caught one fish um, as uh people probably know by the time this goes up uh clear lake right now is kind of tough but hey we're out here we're uh seeing trying to pick it apart and uh that way i kind of know what to do for the next few days so let's do it <laughs> Freaking T boned it. Oh, don't do that. Stay down, you sucker. There we go. The football. <laughs> there we go. talking about nice little three three and a half pounder somewhere in that range throwing a little bit a little dogfish custom crankbaits jerk bait that he made me <laughs> sweet wow that took a while <laughs> all right thanks buddy 
Yeah. You gotta jump. Oh, didn't jump. <laughs> so, that was the first fish of the day, and it's about midday. Um, practice for me is not going too well. Um, I've been seeing some people catch fish right where I either fished or uh, right next to me. So I'm in, I've been in some of the right areas, just maybe not throwing the right bait or just missing right when they're uh, busting. So what I've kind of found out is that at first I, didn't, I thought they might just be carp in the little brush that's out here, um, but they're bass. Uh, and that was kind of cemented on the first one I saw was I saw a little, you know, either whatever kind of bait fish it was, um, getting chased, I threw at it, didn't eat. Um, so that was my first clue. Then watched a few more kind of bust in this little tree patch I was fishing. Um, I didn't get a chance to get a bite. Left it, watched someone else come in there and catch like a seven or eight pounder. Um, I'm assuming it was on a swim bait, not 100% sure, but um, went to another spot went to another spot and then ran in and watched a couple guys catch. He said he saw a couple of them school and then whacked a few of them. And if uh, I'm gonna let you know who that was, that was my good buddy Live Fast. He's been out here killing it every day. Uh, if you wanna do a guide trip out here, he's uh, one, of the, one of the good ones for sure. But yeah, watched him whack a few, um, which is pretty cool on a swim bait. Um, so, like I said, I've been in the right area. Watched another guy over here um, catch one on a jerk bait. So I pulled mine out. I, I've been seeing people throw it. Just I don't know. I just have not really thrown a jerk bait in a long time. And within about 10 minutes of throwing it, had that one T-bone it. And uh, yeah, I mean for the most part. My practice is about to be done here in about an hour, um, but so much as uh, catching fish not really happening. Oh, and I did have this around seven pounds, six, seven pounds, uh, actually follow my swim bait. He went up, I saw it, it was right in this brush. Um, saw it, came up, nose to it, and then just dropped low. But like I said, just uh, they are definitely in a little bite window here and there when they feed so you just got to be at the right place the right time and uh hope that they bite but uh that's pretty much what i'm seeing so far um but yeah It's not big, but it, 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 it'll probably keep, maybe. It'll start. Yeah, we got to start this thing off, don't we? Yeah, it's Better? I think so. I'm not going to say it's huge, but I think it's better. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot better. Okay. <laughs> that's a <start>. There you go. I think that one will go in. Gotta start the live well. <laughs> Get this stuff out of the way. Yeah, that's a... Gotta be close to five. Oh, see, I was calling those four. So I think the other fish I was catching were a lot bigger than I thought they were. I don't I mean, look at fish a lot, that, and I typically call them low. I, it's at least a four, I'm gonna say four and a half to five is my okay. guess on that, with how fat it was. Yeah, that's the average fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not very fun. Soaking wet. <laughs> Yeah. Got one. 
Huh? Got a little one. Net? No. He'll he'll keep, but he ain't gonna. Are you sure you don't want me to net it? I'm gonna net it. Oh. All right. That's that's about that's probably three three quarters somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. Probably what I would have done. Yeah. Enough time that can happen in here. It just doesn't matter when they're ready. I haven't been pulling them like that. I don't like to pull them. That causes them to do that. Yeah, go, go uh, buck wild. <laughs> you need pliers? Or you got it. I got one, I got one, I got one. Okay. Yep. Good one, yep. Yep. Easy, Papa. Not that big, but... Good enough, though. Good enough to put in the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he started going away, he slam under the tree. Yeah. They just grab it and go like that. the smallest but he's more weight than we had <laughs> yep. yeah yeah I got one I got one yep got one doesn't feel very big oh no it's tiny dang it dang it Drag was a little loose. Huh? My drag was loose. Oh. <laughs> I got one. I got one. I got one. Get the net. That's 
All right, who do we have next? We've got Daryl Burkhardt, fish with Herbert LeBlanc, five fish. Now that is French, right? I need to say LeBlanc, yes. right? Yep. Okay. Five fish total weight is eighteen ninety five. Good job, guys. When you guys grab the fish, when you guys grab the receipt. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you. you. Got it. See you tomorrow, guys. All right. You need more water, bud. Yeah. When you yeah, when you get a sec. Cup of man. Just yeah, back. just the old switcheroo. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Yep, I'm here. Get another one in the boat. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Tell him how to get the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Want me off? No, you're good. Hey, go through. Hey. <laughs> it was big. Hey, you know what's funny? Is you got the other camera person. I'll send you photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. needed to do that. Yeah, I was it was me. <laughs> I kicked, I kicked it. There you go. Good job, man. Yeah. Oh. She had it. Got her. Got her. Good job. Good job. There you go. Good job. Yes. Right, good job. I'll take it. That's what we're gonna do. She so inhaled it twice. I know it's funny. <laughs> Something, I guess. There's something to do with like a flash. Yeah. Got a little one. Maybe. Oh, no, not a little one. one. Not a little one. That's a good one. Not just work. You're doing good. Yeah, come up here. Uh, keep your rod out. Yeah, we're going to go at him. No. He's going to come up.
It'll help a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good fish. I thought fucking stud you. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. All right, let's make it. Let's make it. Yeah. Good fucking job, dude. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so. Yeah. Let me wait this head. Yeah, go for it. Straight down. He's got my tails. He got, he grabbed my claw. He grabbed my claw. And he swam off about a foot with it. Oh, come on. Yeah, the female's right there too. He's, he's pissed. Yeah, because it keeps. Got her! Got someone here. Yeah. There you go. That's... I don't even think this one helps, but if you can catch her. I don't know. We'll see what she does. I'll weigh him and have you. I'll just see. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Yeah, 320. 321. What's that? 321. Did you call anything out? Uh, there's a 295 in here. Yeah. So I'll, I'll bump them. There. Oh! 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 God damn it. Oh, how did it, dude? They're in here, dude. Just gotta eat. Did it? Yeah, we made the best of it. That's our little. The last one of these pies, I'll spawn out. Yeah. That was first thing in the morning. Huh? That was first thing in the morning. Yeah, I was hoping you were all wow. Fishing so hard. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so wrapping up my one bass tournament here. Um, three days of fishing was uh, a lot, um, but it definitely was a lot of fun. Um, when we were on them. Um, so kind of just going to slowly break down a couple of the days. Um, just kind of let you know what was working, what wasn't, and what uh, what I saw. So day one, ran around with our pro. We went down into the rattlesnake arm, fished the keys there. Um, he, it was his kind of spot and as far as knew there was some big fish in there. So went around, we ended up getting, I think, five bites within there um, and we got four of them in the boat um, as well as some smaller ones that bit um, but that was all on a drop shot and a Senko um, so that was a little stressful having uh, only four fish and then at four o'clock a little bit before our weigh-in time um, ended up picking one more on a Senko for a five fish limit we ended up weighing just under 19 pounds so there was a couple 30 pound bags caught that day, um, but hey, I will take it. And then day two, um, we went out on a spot that there was, it was a hitch, morning hitch spot. Um, did not get to 
video any of that day, but uh, I will say it was it was fun. I think um, I had three three bites on that executioner, and I put two in the boat, and they were all four pound plus. Um, and then my pro Joe, he put two in the boat there, so we had four, and they were all four to four and a half pounds, and then hit one more spot and ended up getting our limit on uh, an A-Rig. That was about a five or so. Um, so we we did not call at all. Um, I caught a couple small like two pounders on a Senko. Other than that, we worked uh, a big bed fish, did not get it to go and weighed in. And we weighed in 22 and a half pounds, which was pretty good. So I was sitting in 25th for going into day three and I was paired with the number two guy Nick Klein um, we had a blast as you guys saw there um, there was a morning spot and I'm not gonna show any part of that because he wanted that hidden F totally respect that um, just glad that I was able to see it and uh, get to enjoy it but he got one on his spot and then I picked one off on the Senko there um, so we had two nice you know four four something pound fish um, and then pretty much after that, it was a grind. We pretty much just went bed fishing the rest of the day for the most part, mixing in, you know, throwing around a glide bait and all throwing on jerk bait and swim bait and stuff like that. Um, but we pretty much got our limit bed fishing and then cold a few times on bed fish as well as, um, like I caught one coal on a Nico rig and then Nick at the end there caught uh, another coal on the glide bait. Fortunately, it was actually post spawn. Um, it would have helped even more if it wasn't. It was probably what probably would have been about a six if it was pre spawn. Um, but wrapped it up and caught, I think we had 19 pounds for day three, and I ended up in 23rd place. So cast a check. Definitely happy and uh, had a good time. My first one best. Definitely looking forward to doing some more. I um, just wanted to thank all my sponsors, all my pros for taking me out, learning and teaching me stuff. Um, and hopefully you guys learn kind of what was going on in Clear Lake and maybe learn a few things. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Give it a thumbs up and see you on the next one. Peace.